You ready to get your first hamburger, buddy? What do you think? We're gonna get him a hamburger for his birthday. All right, today's Yukon's birthday, so. Here's a french fry. I got him a burger, he's never had fast food before, so. Because it's your special day, you're gonna get a burger. It's just a plain hamburger. I think, yeah. All right, there you go, buddy. Oh, you just missed the bun right here. I got food too, got to celebrate with him. I think, buddy. Not good. You ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Have the whole thing. That's all yours. Yeah. Is that good stuff? Happy birthday, Yukon. Until next year. Mmm, <laughs> that's yummy stuff. And I'll share some of my fries with you. Yummy, yummy. Aww. Are you happy? Are you a happy boy? Aww. Look at that smile. You want a french fry? You want another fry? Look at my fries. There you go, buckaroo. Aww. There you go. It's good. They're fresh, too. It's good stuff, huh? Yeah. And we're at the cinder path, which is where I want to take them. This morning it rained and rained and rained, and I was like all bummed out. But it looks pretty not that wet. Of course, there might be some puddles here and there, but I can't, you can't miss your special day. I had it all planned out. So we went to town, got some gas because I need gas. And then um, we went to Bomb Guards, which is like a tractor supply. And we went and picked in, picked out a couple toys, and then I got him a rib bone. Um, I didn't film in there because I wasn't sure if I could film, and it was kind of hard because it was Yukon's second time. The first time I brought him in there, he was a puppy, so he was good. He was good this time. He just wanted to smell everything. So now we're just gonna have a little lunch break, and then we're gonna go walk a couple miles, and then we're gonna go home. Good boy. All right, guys, we are at the cinder path. I have not been here in years. And the last time I think I was here, I was probably 12, 12, 13, 12, 11. I'm not too sure, but tomorrow I turn 20. So that tells you how long it's been. And I think it's funny because when I was little, we didn't have any dogs. And I always dreamt about bringing my husky and walking my husky on here one day and now it's it's come true so this is the bridge gosh it's been forever and then it's just it's a pretty nice trail I mean from what I can remember of course it's been years but um, it goes from Sheraton all the way through to Humiston so it's like a come on 13 14 mile tra trail not quite sure I'd have to look it up but it's a good walk and I have not went all the way through it. I'd like to someday. Um, but yeah. It's a nice nature trail. Um, but yeah, this morning I was going to... I had this whole thing planned out. We we're going to get up early. We we're going to go get gas. Nobody's really in town. We were going to go get some breakfast at Hardy's. And then we weren't going to go to Baumgard's and get toys because I didn't want to take them in there. Well then, this morning, I woke up at 5, and it just poured. It rained and rained and rained, and I was like so bummed out. I was like, oh my gosh, everything's going to be wet, muddy. And then, so I slept on the couch, just waiting for the daylight. Hopefully, it would, come on, it'll, uh, you know, the storm will go away. And it did. I think I got about like 10-something, and it was just, it's cloudy out. So I was like, alright, we're just going to wing it and see what happens. And really, it's not too bad of a trail. It's actually really nice. It's not that hot. It's cloudy. Um, I packed some water for us. Come on, Yukon. Come on. It's like so many smells. Um, but yeah, I was not going to take him to the cinder path. But then, we uh, it's right by Hardy's, and I got him some lunch. 
and I was like, you know what, it's not too bad, there's not a lot of people out, we'll just wing it, we'll just go walk a couple miles, and yeah. He's having fun, I'm having fun, there's the interstate, it goes right under, um, but wow, it's, it's been a long time. The plan is tomorrow, because tomorrow, the first, is actually my birthday. So the plan was tomorrow to take all the dogs to uh, East Lake Park in Osceola. That's a little muddy here. Um, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow too. And I'm just like, really? Every time I have plans, you pee on that bush. You do you, Yukon. But yeah, I was. So tomorrow, with the weather, looks like I'm not gonna be taking the dogs to the park. Um, I had a whole day plan. I was actually going to make another vlog about that because they have this cool dog park and then, yes, that's poop, Yukon, and then they have um, another trail that I wanted to take the dogs on, but looks like the weather is, is not in my favor, but you can see kind of how long that trail goes. Pretty long. And from what I can remember, certain spots, I think there's like another little bridge, and then I think there, there's some ponds. Um, long time ago when we walked it, we would see like snakes, frogs, coons, squirrels. I don't remember seeing deer, but not saying there isn't. But what do you think, Yukon? He's like, oh my goodness. Hopefully in the winter time when this is all snowed over, um... I'll be able to take all the... What was that? That was loud. I'll be able to take all the dogs on it on the sled. So. Plus in the winter time, I don't think there will be much people um, walking on here on the trail anyways. I usually don't see a lot of people on here actually. The other day when I drove pa past, there was a couple. I think... Oh, it's just a bird up there. I was like, I think it's a pheasant, but no. It's too small. But, yeah. Coming up on bridge number two, we already hit point five of a mile. So, not quite a mile yet. But I think we'll do two miles, and then we'll go back. So, that'll equal four, since that's what he's used to. And I don't want to go too far since it is late in the day and it's starting to get hot. But it's so pretty here, you guys. It's so green. We saw some two, two ch chipmunks. Um, I didn't even see them. Oh, there's another one on the bridge. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, he might have just left. He's right there, guys. They're like everywhere here. I didn't even notice. Like there was two right on the side. And I didn't even see him. And Yukon saw him. He hasn't seen this one yet. But I don't remember what this, this bridge has. If it's like. If it has a. Oh it does. It has like a little bit of a creek. Not much. There's not much water in that. Go on this side. Thought maybe there'd be some turtles or some frogs out, but I don't see anything. All right, ahead we go. We're coming up on a mile. We just passed two people. One was walking, the other one was on a bike. But they're old guys, so I'm pumped that they're out here doing their own thing. Way to go. So we just hit one mile. So we got one more to go, and then we're gonna turn around. If it wasn't as bad of weather this morning, and it didn't rain as much as it did. Um, I still would have got up. I mean, I did get up early, but we would have headed out here at like 6. And then walked at least a couple miles and then back and headed home. But, I mean, it's still pretty. We still got to go on the trail. Ooh, there's a gazebo up here. That might be new. And it might not be. Like I said, it's been years since I've been here. But it's up ahead. Yukon's doing really good. There's been some chipmunks, some bunnies, some squirrels. And, I mean, he wants to go after them, but 
he's doing actually really good when I tell him to leave it. Honestly, the trail's not that muddy. There's a couple, like, damp, muddy spots, but other than that, I mean, I'm not getting mud on me. I mean, he's gonna have some muddy paw prints, but, or paw pads. Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I got up, then I was bummed, and then I went back to sleep. That might be new. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Or, if it was here, they redid it. But, oh, there's a pretty field. You want to come check it out? He's like, I want, I want to see what this, what this is. Or he's going to pee on it. Yep, he's going to pee on it. Yukon was here. Oh my goodness, I think there's another bridge up there. I didn't realize there were so many bridges. Wow. This is crazy. I don't know who's who's more excited. I am or Yukon. Because Yukon's pretty pumped. He's getting a special day all to himself. But I'm pumped because I've been wanting to go on this trail forever. So, looks like somebody was working on something. The gates are open, not shut. Looks like another road. Yeah, a lot of this I don't remember. Like, I don't remember those gates. And, you know, they might have been there. I don't know. It looks like there's another path that goes this way, but that's not the true path. I don't know what that is. But I know there's a bridge up there, so we're going to go over another bridge. There's a squirrel in front of us. Yukon hasn't seen it. Oh, that must just go to somebody's field. There is a lot of wildlife. Just little ones. Oh, I think he saw the squirrel. Oh, there's a chipmunk. Oh my goodness. Man, they're just all over the road. Leave it, Yukon. Ahead. You don't need no squirrel or a chipmunk. You don't need them. It's so pretty here. If you guys ever travel to Iowa, definitely check out this trail. The Cinder Path. As far as I know, it's open all year round, so I think you just can't bring like four wheelers and ATVs and stuff like that. But dogs are welcomed. You know, I just saw somebody on a bike. So it just like looks like something from like a fairy tale. Like it's just so pretty and so green. I miss the green. Alright, Yukon, we're going on this bridge. You ready, buddy? I love bridges. <laughs> Uneven surface. Walk, bike, across bridge. Oh, I don't think people do that. I mean, they might, but some of them probably don't. Okay. Ooh, there's a branch there, buddy. I don't know. This one just kind of looks like another creek. Oh, yeah, there's like a little pond over there. So it's like a little creek. But it looks kind of dried. What's over here? Nothing. Now I bet you if you're really, really, really quiet and didn't have a dog and you're just by yourself, you might possibly see a deer. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Look at this view. It's so pretty. It's so nice and it's cloudy. So like, oh, it's such a nice day to walk. I'm so glad I changed my mind. Nice and cool for him. It is humid. It is very humid, but gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, we just hit 1.5 miles. We got half a mile left, but here's another bridge. Um, but it, I kind of can see it, and I know it's got more water, so we can get a better look. I forgot to film, but we went past this bench and I happened to look over and there was a cat on it. It was like a a dark gray cat with like green eyes and it had white paws. He was just so scared. I was like, aww. But Yukon did really di good. He didn't go after him. He just kind of looked at him. So if the cat is still there on the way back, we'll make a little video. Um, show you guys what the cat looks like. Oh. Well, I looked over there, and there was water over there, but I guess it's all dried up over here. But there was water. I could see it. 
it's way over there. It's like a, yeah, like a dip. Um, huh. I did see it, and I was like, oh my goodness, we're going to get like a whole bunch of, like a big pond area we're going to walk over, and no, we didn't. Alright, we hit two miles, so now we're going to take a water break, and then we're going to head back. Come on, let's go, out. let's go in the shade. There's shade over here. We'll go over here. Does that taste good? It is finally starting to get humid, so kind of glad we're going to turn around. It is starting to get hot, but it still keeps going. But we're going to go turn back, head back to the truck. And, yeah. Is that good stuff? Yeah. Alright, I said if we went by and the cat was still here, I was going to make a video. Or at least show you guys. He's so grumpy. He's like, don't bring that dog over here. Stay, Yukon. Hi, Kiki. I feel bad. Like, of course, I don't know if somebody, you know, left it or if it's just feral. But I don't think it's a mom cat because I don't see any babies by it. I mean, it could be a girl cat without babies, but I'm kind of sad for it. I think I'm going to name you Cinder because you're on the path. Aww. Poor baby. It's not friendly. I tried to go buy it and it was scared. So, poor baby. I don't have any food. I know there's water all around here, so she should be fine, but poor kitty. All right, Yukon, tell Cinder bye. Say bye, Cinder. Bye, Cinder. Be good. Be safe. Aww. So, we're walking back. Back to the truck. I just thought I'd stop and take that short little video of Cinder. Alright guys, so we just finished the trail. We are all done for the day. We're just going to head home and chill out for the rest of the day. So we had a fun eventful morning. What do you think, Yukon? He's like, I'm tired. I want to go home. I want to lay down. Don't worry, bud. We got air conditioning in there. If you guys like the video, don't forget forget to like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Bye.